Right now in Boston, we're at 55. The Joe and Andy Family, 98.5 WR. Point five, WROR, like far out, man. Like a heavy piece of music, huh? Wow. I feel like we should have the lava lamp going. Let's stuff. get the lava lamp. I'll throw on the <laughs> Nehru jacket. And, uh, what the heck? This is my bag. Brenda Russell with your guys, Joe and Andy, in the morning. It's a Monday, August 22nd. Coolidge, 55 degrees. going to be a gorgeous day to do just about anything you want with somebody you'd like to do just about anything with. <laughs> 70 degrees at 658 at WROR. Hi, I'm Jenny, an operator at Dime Life Books. Like all the other operators, my name starts with a J for no real apparent reason. I'll be back to tell you how you can get a swell gift free just by ordering books from Dime Life's Wild Wild West series. Yep, the Wild Wild West. The days in our country's history where men roamed from town to town, fighting, cussing, drinking, and fooling around. Where phrases like hog damn nam ration freshen ration were born. Yep. Now you too can relive those historical moments with Dime Life Books Wild Wild West series. Here are just some of the book titles you'll enjoy. Wyatt Earp and other bad guys with funny last names. The 1870s, the decade when nothing much happened. Stagecoaches, early American theater directors. Harmonicas, where they really played around the campfire, or did the guys just cup their hands over their mouths like this idiot in the background here? And U.S. Marshals that look like Clint Eastwood. And more. Each volume printed on quality paper and bound with a cover that has the look and feel of fine-tooled leather, even though it's cheap plastic. Here's Judy. That's Jenny. Uh, Jenny, to tell you how you can order. Just call me now at 1-800-800-0000. That's 555-3478. That's 267-1414. Order now and you'll get this western belt buckle with a picture of Jesse James' mother, Jesse Jane, engraved by hand by a group of cheap laborers. Plus, you'll get some dirt taken from the West last week but was probably around during the gunfight at OK Corral. And, of course, your first Dime Life book, Bathrooms in the Old West. Where'd everybody go? Order now. Hey, the Joe and Andy investigative team it definitely has to swing into action. Listen to this. Oh, this is unbelievable. Well, over the weekend in New York, it seems employees of Sinai Chapel's funeral home in Flushing <laughs> went to a hospital uh, to pick up a woman who had passed away. This is nothing funny about that. <laughs> yes, it is. But the workmen, the workmen picked up the wrong person and removed a live living lady, put her in a body bag, took her back to their to their embalming room, and it was only after they opened up the body bag that they realized they had taken a live person by mistake. Lawsuit, lawsuit, lawsuit. According to the hospital, they would have had to have disconnected her from life support <laughs> tubes to have put her in the body bag. So we may have to call out to Sinai Chapel's funeral home in Flushing, New York. What are the chances you think they're going to talk to the likes of us? Well, according to the Globe uh, over the weekend, a woman who answered the telephone said no one was available to comment. <laughs> Speaking about making commentary, Howie Carr from the Herald joins us after 8 o'clock this morning. Right here on the Joe and Andy family, back with the College of Musical Knowledge. But right now, here's our friend Mary Play. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Joe. Andy, it is 7 o'clock, 59 degrees on 98.5 WROR Boston. A clear, cool, crisp Monday weather-wise. A high today of 70. This report is... And then let us shatter to the ground in a heap. With the wind. Thank you. With the wind, that makes me feel good. The A's maintained an eight-game lead over Minnesota in the American League West. The Red Sox dropped four games behind the front-running Detroit Tigers in the American League East. Tonight, Gene Autry's California Angels come in town. 7.13 in the morning. Get ready to stroll through the hallowed halls of the College of Musical Knowledge. Coming right up in just a moment here at 98.5 WROR. But right now, time to check on your commute. Brought to you by Milton's Clothing, where there's always a special value going on just for you. At 7.13, what's happening, Elliot? Well, looking down here at the Southeast Expressway, and heavy traffic still onto the brain tree end up past the pontiff, but the breakdown we have there is now clear. Just a little bit. The WROR is Chopper 98. Nice, Elliot. 7.14 at WROR, the forecast on this Monday, August 22nd. Do you realize the kids are going to be going back to school real soon? You know, you keep saying that, and, <laughs> and, true, and, and, and you're really getting a lot of people annoyed uh, with you, including me. I'm sorry. I... Apologize. The kids won't be going back to school no, for a no, long time. No, no, they will, but you don't have to rub our noses. I'm not rubbing in your it. noses. I'm just saying that if you haven't bought the back to school clothes by now, I guess you're in deep trouble. Well, no, it's only August 22nd, for gosh sakes. <clears throat> Come on, the summer vacation has weeks and weeks to go. Well, you're on vacation all year round. What are you getting all upset well, about? Well, because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm really a kid at heart. I know you are. And, and, I, and I think about this, and I remember how I was when I was in, in, in junior high school and high school and elementary school on summer vacations, and boy, 
I don't like to be reminded that it's back to school time pretty soon. Didn't you like to go back to school? You got a new pencil box? Could sharpen all your pencils? You know, were you one of those guys? <laughs> With a little protractor? Yeah, you carried a briefcase, <laughs> didn't you? And you wore those little felt tip pens, those multicolored no, felt tip no, pens, no. in a pocket protector. But I remember my mom used to give me a pencil box, and I had to take that to school with me. Yeah. And of course, the first day at school, I got it ripped off in the, in the schoolyard. Yeah, Mom I mean, didn't care if you looked like a damn sissy. No. no, Mom, Mom didn't care. Mom, I'm going to get in a fight. You just take that little pencil box, dear. And that parents never understood no, about they don't. peer pressure. So remember, kids, refuse to take your pencil box to school. That's right. Tell you. Mom, hey, pencil <laughs> no. box this. No, no, don't you do that. We're only kidding. Yeah, the, maybe you shouldn't talk to your mom the like that. Come today, to think of it. sunny and cool with a temp near 70. <laughs> You're awful. You're Tonight, right. clear skies with a low 55 in town. If you go into the baseball game to see the Angels and the Red Sox, bundle up. It's going to be chilly at Fenway. Probably around 45 degrees at game time. Bruce Hurst, bundle up, Bruce. Long John's for you, guy. Tomorrow, Sunday, temps near 70. And in the middle of the week, here in Boston at WROR, partly cloudy. Temps in the 70s. Right now, 55 in Boston with a Joe and Andy family. Yes, that theme can mean only one thing. It's time once again to throw up the doors. To the College of Musical Knowledge, Professor Joe Martell presiding, and I, Andy Mose, merely his disobedient, disloyal, and disrespectful student. And my partner, right. Joe, <laughs> is going to give you the clues to today's WROR Great Song of the Day. You be the first caller through at 931-1570. Write that number down, 931-1570. Correctly identify the title of today's WROR Great Song of the Day. And we're going to give you a designer Joe and Andy coffee mug, and we'll probably even give you something special inside of it. What the heck? We're good guys. Those are the kind of folks we are. I like that. Yeah. We have something special, by the way, later on, if you know the title of the person's name that we put in the 530 Club, too. Oh, that's right. We have right. a special 60th anniversary birthday package from Mickey Mouse. We are just festooned <laughs> with prizes this morning. <laughs> Talk about a child prodigy. He started singing at age 10. Formed a vocal trio in high school. They got 15 bucks a night. Then Paul took three piano lessons, little clue there, and started playing professionally. At 16, he had a hit with his own composition. Do you know who I'm talking about? See, I can't give you the complete name because it'll be real easy. And do you know today's WROR great song of the day? You know, as a matter of fact, based on those clues, I... <laughs> I do. You do? Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. You, you sort of gave it away. Okay. You, you kind of clued me in when, okay. it, when you said he was 16 years old when he had his very first big hit. And you know, at 16 years old, Joe, young people, their their hormones are at war with each other. That's true. And, I was, and that was the clue. Here was Here is the title of today's WROR Great Song of the Day. Uh -huh. It goes something like this. Oh, 16 years and what do you get? Another day older and another zip. Oh, get out of here. That's not it. 931-1570. 98.5 WROR means great songs. I have WROR right in the middle of his summertime concert swing. Steve Winwood, roll with it on your Joe and Andy family. It is 723, 23 minutes after 7 o'clock. You know what the definition of uh, morning breath is? Morning breath? Yeah. No. Well, I don't either. I just thought I'd ask you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm familiar with morning breath, having, having, been, having both uh, uh, expelled it and, and inhaled it, but I'm... I don't get it. <laughs> 55 degrees in Boston. Right now with the Joe and Andy family. Hey, the snitch line is coming up tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. And for you kids who tell us the best little story about your mama or your daddy, we're going to give you four tickets to take your mom and dad or one of the other to the Moscow Circus at the Worcester Centrum. Performance date is September 9th at 8 o'clock at night. Speaking of things we're doing this Thursday morning, we're going to be broadcasting the Joe and Andy family live and lively from the Boston Harbor Hotel from the Gazebo Right, uh, which is, I think, dockside. I, yeah. I've not actually been in the gazebo, but I do like saying the word gazebo. You've been under it a couple of times. I've many times. Joey! Where are you, Andy? Over here! <laughs> It'll be a fun, fun morning. We hear from people all the time who go, how come you never move the show downtown when you go live? So we're going downtown this Thursday morning. We'd like you to stop by and be part of the show. In fact, we don't have anything prepared for Thursday, so you will be the show. We're going to have 100 passes that you can uh, that we're going to give away to the first 100 folks who come up and say, "Hey, I'm a member 
of the Joe and Andy family, and I'd like to go on board the old commuter boat. That's Thursday morning, right here in Boston, with your guys, Joe and Andy, at 98.5 WROR. This morning, we're with Mr. Irving World, founder of the Coffee World chain of gourmet coffee stores. Mr. World... Stop and check on your commute at 743 here at 98.5 WROR, brought to you by the Boston Globe. Have you seen the Globe this morning? They're sometimes exciting, they're sometimes weird, and sometimes scary. But they're always very interesting, and scientists still argue about what they mean and why we have them. What are they? I give up. Dreams. Oh, of course. In today's Boston Globe, SciTech enters the fascinating world of your dreams. Good morning, Elliot. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> why not? What's that whining in the background? Is that the chopper? Well, no, that's, that's the uh, interference. We're not really oh, oh, okay. Conflicting frequencies. Now, oh, Elliot, God. Elliot, yeah. can you re- what was the last dream you had uh, geez, that I you really, can remember? He doesn't remember his dreams. I don't remember most of my dreams. I mean, I remember them for about five minutes. Well, so now, I remember, my, I remember mine just as clear as a bell. You remember your dreams? As clear, clear as a bell, yeah? absolutely. What was the last dream you had? No. Last, last night? What did okay, you dream about? Can we talk about it on the radio? Oh, yeah. no, it was last night. I, I dreamt that uh, Eleanor Roosevelt was visiting over at the house. Uh-huh. And she had asked if we could engage in some kind of affair because she didn't feel Franklin was man enough for it anymore. <laughs> and we did. And it was great. Oh, doctor. This is uh-huh. Dr. Joyce Brothers. Oh, yes. In my many years of practicing, uh-huh. I've had a chance to help many individuals resolve their problems. Yes, thank you. But I'm afraid the problems of Joe and Andy are beyond even my assistance. Oh, sorry, you know, yes. they, they're not even able to sit up on the couch yet. Oh, yes, true. Well, that's, that's true. Yes. Little, little help with it, actually. Um, <laughs> looking, looking down, speaking of which, looking yeah. down here at the traffic on Route 128, uh-huh. northbound by Route 24, multiple car accidents. Of course, if you're heading to the lower deck, you might want to opt to lower deck. You might want to opt to uh, head down towards the McGrath and O'Brien Highway. It could be a little bit faster. Hello. We'll check it again for you in just a little bit. Uh, the WROR's Chopper 98. Yeah, we love you. 98.5 WROR. Beautiful day to do just about anything you want to do, so go do it, huh? Temps today around 70, right now, 57 degrees in Boston, 747 with the Joe and Andy family, with our buddy Howie Carr from the Boston Herald, coming up in just a few minutes at WROR.